Good morning again. This is Mr. Melendez, and I'll be performing a read aloud of the Third Seminole War document. Let's go ahead and begin. The Third Seminole War. By 1855, Florida was officially a state, and more and more people were moving to Florida. Militiamen and cattlemen settled near Seminole territory, moving closer and closer to their land. Not wanting another war, the United States leaders brought Billy Bowlegs, the remaining Seminole chief living in Florida, up to Washington, D.C., and pampered him with expensive hotels, fancy food, and famous people. The United States leaders were still trying to convince Billy Bowlegs to move his people out of the Everglades and into Oklahoma. Billy Bowlegs was not impressed and still refused to move. The Third Seminole War the Third Seminole War started over a banana plantation. In 1855, government workers were sent to the Seminole Swampland to take notes about their crops and villages. They were not supposed to provoke or upset the Seminoles, but they didn't listen. Some of the men stole bananas from Billy, Billy Bowleg's banana trees. They also helped themselves to beans, corn, and pumpkins. Then, they burned down the rest of the crops. After offering no apologies or compensation for the destruction, the Seminoles retaliated. The next morning, they attacked the army base camp, killing 40 soldiers and injuring four others. The fighting continued for about three more years until they finally reached an agreement. The U.S. government paid $7,500 to Billy Bowlegs, $100 to each, Semino $100 to each Seminole leader, 500 to each warrior, and 1,000 to each woman. The Seminoles agreed to the deal and started moving west. A couple of hundred Seminoles remained in the swamps of the Everglades. They lived there for nearly 20 years in complete isolation from the American government. Just so you know, there is a correction. The U.S. government paid 7,500 to Billy Bowlegs, and it's supposed to be $1,000 to each Seminole leader, and then $500 to each warrior, and then $100 to each woman. So I wanted to make that correction. $1,000 to each Seminole leader. All right, class. This is the end of the read aloud for the third Seminole War document. This is where you need to pause and go ahead and take out your Seminole War note catcher. I begin to populate it with relevant information from the document. This is Mr. Melendez, and I am punching out. Have a good day.